Before warning Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Ah la 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a higher hull than two. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only team into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Only a shred. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Polemites! Burn them! The ah, la, la. We have got them now, Tice! Give them the, no ah, them the taste of our fire! Galley speed, easy pace! Give them hell out of sand! He too, boys! Give them hell out of sand! Well done, then! Sea craft comes naturally to you! Easier to sail Galley about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot men fleet. It will take some time for them to find a wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheet smells like charcoal. Damastes, please, shut up! We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. Speed on!
Speed, more speed! Pick up the pace! Then, more Ptolemy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked yardens will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la! The fleet await your command, Aya! Our catapult will fire upon your order! Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up! The devil is trying to unleash his wrath! The fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire will burst upon them! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And save! But not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water.
for putting you back to work. Not at all, not at all. My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle! By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking Star Wars! Oh, we are not dead! Ptolemy is Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring box! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. Yeah, we cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. We'll see one never... So we disarm then. We'll see one never know peace. Armed uh, or not. I will go to the Saracena camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. For once, perhaps, a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my Philakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Serene.
Guest legionary, Atis. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Don't. Black, would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Domine. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. Sir. Palace is at your disposition, Caius. Pompey was bound to be killed. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> What is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bortinus and Septimius gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great magis. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. 
An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. <laughs>